Standout memories. I mean, there's there's so many, honestly, every year. My favorite Evo moment. Every year I've been to Evo, it seemed huge. I've actually been attending Evo since 2009. This is my sixth Evo. This is my third Evo. I have been coming to Evo before Evo existed. I've been to every Evo. This was back in the day before social media even existed. I was there when the famous Evo moment 37 happened when Daigo did the incredible parry against Justin Wong. For me, the one that I cannot front on is Justin is, is on the other side. Justin resets the bracket. He like stood up and lifted up his arms and the whole crowd went crazy. Puts Daigo in a loses and I think by playing ball rock. I immediately turned around and started looking at the audience and everybody was going crazy. They were just losing their mind. Ever since then, I've just been coming back. I can't, I can't help it. The first season of Street Fighter V in 2016, there was an American player named L.I. Joe, and he made top eight. No one expected him to make top eight. I think it was me, one, two, three, four, five, six Japanese, and one Korean player. So again, I was the only, only sole American left playing. That was the first time I really heard the crowd at EVO supporting the game. I heard the roar from the crowd. It just felt good to be able to not only rep the community, but also, you know, rep the country. The first year of EVO that we competed, EVO 2015, I spilled beer on my controller. Flup had to find a new controller last minute, get up on stage, and play against Leffen. And I was originally gonna play Sheik versus him. With a character that that Plup doesn't play anymore. So I played Samus, and I actually like, took the game 2-1. The crowd was roaring. Where there was uh, double bail and grand finals, and like they were camping, and they were just like having fun. It hurts to talk about that. <laughs> He choked. Yeah, I choked. Bad. Yeah, I bad. choked. I choked. It's mad hard. When Leffen was fighting against Goichi, Goichi was literally like one hit away from losing, and he still brought it all the way back, and it was the craziest thing. Everyone was going crazy. One of my favorite moments was when Will Majin, I think he was one of the only American players left in top eight, and he made an amazing run even up till that point, and he was just running through international players. In 2009, to see um, Malik from France winning uh, EVO, where nobody in France expected him to win. <laughs> the, the most amazing thing was, uh, you know, obviously competing in that grand finals on that stage that day, but the fact that, you know, a quarter million people were watching Melee that day, for me, that's, that's an incredible feeling. Um, it really goes to show that a game can be, you know, at this point, what is it, 18 years old and still have a massive fan base. The best moment uh, for me when it comes to EVO was 2014 against Filipino champ. He had me, I actually should have lost, but he dropped his combo, I guess he got nervous, and I made this really ridiculous comeback in literally two seconds. I killed both his characters in two seconds. I would say that's the best moment. Just a few years ago, Takedo came out on stage full of emotion, uh, gave a speech about, you know, trying to speak in English, his native language is Japanese. Great champion and just came out with, fighting games are so great. <laughs> and the whole crowd went nuts. It's a very simple statement, but uh, he spoke with a lot of emotion. Anytime that is able to happen, whether through a great moment of play or, or just people sort of connecting across cultural barriers, that's what EVO is all about.